first corinthians 420 for the kingdom of god is not a matter of talk but of power can you kindly explain on the kingdom of god explained by paul in corinthian context okay so generally when uh, not just uh, paul in the corinthian context uh, i don't think there is any uh, um any extra data for us to uh, extrapolate from there and understand uh, paul's idea of the kingdom in a different way it comes as a as a particular mention uh, uh devoid of any supporting uh, ideas that uh, build up to the kingdom of god there so the general idea of the kingdom of god is the uh, rule of god the authority of god the sovereignty of god and uh, uh his will being done uh, uh by his people wherever they are and uh, so even in this corinthian context i think uh, the kingdom of god is the salvation of god the will of god the work of god in the life of god's people uh wherever they are planted or placed and paul says it is not a matter of talk an empty sophistry like the greeks would have liked to think okay they were uh, spending time from morning to evening as as i said sitting and just listening to uh, interesting ear tickling talk okay so he says it's not just a matter of talk it is a matter of power now the matter of power can be interpreted in two ways if you ask uh, people from the pentecostal or charismatic persuasion they will say the matter of power means uh the ability to do signs and wonders and miracles now that could well be one reading okay but we do not see uh any uh, distinct uh data here of uh, any sign or wonder or miracle that paul is perhaps doing i'm sure he would have done in the 18 months that he was there instituting the church nevertheless the other uh, uh way of looking at power is the power to transform lives okay now contrasted with the greek sophistry they listened to philosophers day in and day out and they went away feeling nice and applauding them and having gained a little sophia okay but that sophia did not have any transformatory power in their lives and they continue to revel in their drunkenness and in their orgies and in their recreation whereas when paul is speaking uh, about the kingdom of god not just being a matter of plain talk but also of power uh, i would tend to think that it is speaking about the power to transform a sinner into a saint power to transform as i said in the group a caterpillar into a butterfly the power to transform somebody who is so full of vice somebody who is so vicious somebody who is so deposed somebody who is so depraved into a child of god and conform to the image of christ now that is the power of the dynamis of god that he speaks in chapter 1 as well so it could well be signs and wonders and miracles uh, uh that's fine i'm happy to accommodate that interpretation but i feel uh that the ability to change a person from inside out to transform a person to make a person who uh, could not but gravitate to sin now gravitate to Christ is the power that Paul is speaking about in that verse and that's the kind of kingdom of god that needs to get established here on earth and even in the corinthian context that's a kind of kingdom and kind of kingdom people that uh, paul is speaking about